life. Uh, just a little update this morning, it's not a huge amount has happened since uh, yesterday. Um, it's a little bit less windy today. Um, I have got a few bits and bobs I want to do today and today I'm predominantly concentrating on the horses um, because I will be riding. Um, so I'm in the polytunnel at the more, more moment. Um, I've just been watering everything, it's a beautiful day. Um, so yeah, so far um, just been pottering really. Larry the lamb has on to his second bottle and um, he has four to five bottles a day at the moment and um, so he's had his second bottle he's out in the paddock and um, I've checked on the ewes uh, the dogs are fine they're pottering in the garden I will take them for a little walk later and um, so yeah really just watering um, keeping an eye on everything today. Uh, <laughs> talking of watering woke up this morning and um, Chris had gone off to work I came down pottering about and then suddenly no water. Um, we are on a borehole here so um, it is maintained and normally obviously they would let me know if they're coming. Uh, we've been waiting for them to come put a UV filter in um, and today they've decided to turn up and do that and switch my water off so no notice, no warning, no nothing. I mean I'm pleased that they've come to do to do the job because we've been having to drink um, bottled water. We've been sort of watering and things with it. I've been quite concerned about the animals if I'm honest with you. The dogs have been on bottled water but you can't really buy enough bottled water for horses and sheep and chickens um, and I know they're less susceptible to sort of uh, bacteria and protozoa and so on than we are but they, they are still susceptible and they, they can still um, you know get um, infections and diseases and so on so it'll be a nice relief uh, once that UV filters in but a little bit of warning would have been nice but I'm not going to let that spoil my day um, I've just had a little polite chat with them they said they're not only going to be about another half an hour and that job will be done um, so that's good that's another thing ticked off and we can finally stop either boiling water or drinking bottled water um, I'm completely anti bottled water I hate bottled water I think it's ludicrous um, apologies to any of those of you that buy it but I just think you know there are I'm going to get on my soapbox now but they, you know there's, there's countries where people are walking for for miles and miles um, with nothing on on their feet and barely enough to dress themselves without having had much to eat to carry what essentially is dirty water because it's all they can get and we can switch a tap on and have it and we go to the supermarket and and pay a fortune for, for, for bottled water when we have something you know at home in a tap and um, not to mention the whole plastic la 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 anyway get off my soapbox now and um, but it has pained me to have to buy um, bottled water I've predominantly been trying to boil as much as possible and um, but there have been occasions where we have had to buy a couple of bottles um, so that will be lovely to to not be buying bottled water and not boiling water anyway I'm rattling and ra rambling now so I'll give you a quick little tour um, around the farm of anything I think may have changed since the last time I gave you a farm update um, so I hope you guys are all having uh, the, the weather that we're having because it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so um, uh, yeah, I'll give you a little update. Have a, a, a lovely day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the spring and the, the sort of the, the season of, of growing is well underway now. Um, and it, you know, if you're anything like me, it, it just fills me with so much joy um, to, to see things growing. And um, I've, this year will be absolutely everything from seed. Um, and I'm really proud of that because I used to buy, um, you know, little plants and, and so on. Um, so to have everything that I've grown myself started from seed um, for me is a real achievement. Um, even my rhubarb, my rhubarb, my strawberries, they were started off um, last year and they're looking great. Um, so I've still got a few more seeds I'd like to get in. But today, as I say, predominantly concentrating um, on the farm and I want to get the horses ridden. So um, I'll give you a little tour and um, have a lovely day and thank you for watching thank you bye